Hi everybody, it's Derek with you, it's Derek in the Brew, and Harry Feet, or Happy Feet X63 on Instagram. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's March, here in Michigan where I'm at, we got sunny and almost 70 degrees, no rain, sun shines out, light wind, it's great. And today I wanted to get, just share a scripture and encourage you guys. Out of John 14, it talks about Jesus in 14.6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I wanted to read before that. And before that, he's talking to his disciples, encouraging them, don't fret. I'm going to my father's house. There's many rooms. If I were not, I would have told you. If you believe in me, you believe in the father. That's how it goes. And so it's like going to a private club and you don't need the password. The password is Jesus. To get to heaven, you have to accept Christ in your heart. And that's how you get there. That's the only way. And then at the, end, at the six, he says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He goes, but how do we know where you're going? We don't know the Father. He goes, haven't you been with me for three years? To know me is to know the Father. And what he means there is the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They're three separate, but also one. So to know Jesus is to know the Father. And that's what he says there. And so I wanted to encourage you guys, if you have not, please accept Christ. So that when we get to heaven, or when the end times come, whenever we go, and we get to go to heaven, I get to see you there, and we get connected and be like, dude, how was your life? And we can share stories and all that and catch up with other people that we haven't seen in a while. But that's my encouragement today is to not be troubled with the times going on because at the end of the day, when we accept Christ, we got the password to get into heaven, and it's the blood of Jesus that will cover us. And the other way I want to look at it is adoption. When we accept Christ, we are then adopted into the family of Christ. The only reason I'm thinking of it like that lately is because I was able to adopt a dog last month, and I have enjoyed every moment of it. And so the side note of this is that when you accept Christ, you are covered in the blood. You have a new identity. Your last name has been changed from human to child of God. You get adopted into the family of God, into the family of Christ. That's what happens when you accept Christ, is you become new creation. No longer a human sent or a human foundation. You are now anointed with Christ's blood and Christ as your name. So when you get to there and they're counting all your wrongs and you're like, oh, I'm screwed. And Jesus says, nope, he accepted me. I take the, I, he is covered in my name and the blood of Christ. He's covered with me on top. None of us, he should not be held liable for anything. That's what it means to accept Christ, is to have him cover and wipe away all your sins. doesn't mean you can go on sinning, but it means that he will forgive you of all your sins because you have accepted him. And he wants you to join him in heaven. He's excited to see you in heaven. And that's what I'm saying today, is to be excited to accept Christ and start the new journey. And again, the scripture today is 14.6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's what I have for today, guys. Be encouraged. Be full of joy and life. Let the blood of Jesus flow over you and just refill you full of joy and peace and comfort. Don't fret what's going on in the world. Acknowledge it. Don't just be oblivious to it because it's happening. It's like, say you're stuck in a storm. You can't be, oh, there's no storm going on. No, it's going on, but you can not be afraid of the storm because you know you are protected in Christ. You're protected by your house. Trust in your house. Just as we are to trust in Jesus and knowing him, that's what I'm saying with this, is to don't be scared of the times we're living in. Because we know God, he will protect us in the storm. He will protect us in the times. And that's what it means to accept Christ. Because then we know the Father. The more we know Jesus, the more we read our Bible, the more we know the Father. And then he can work in us and through us to the people around us. If you guys have not accepted Christ, it's as simple as this. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I thank you for all that you have done for me. I ask for your forgiveness for all the sins that I have committed. Come into my heart and clean me out and forgive me. Make me a new creation today. I thank you for this in Jesus' name. And I pray that you would guide me from here on out to live for you in Jesus' name.
Amen. That's all I have for today, guys. May y'all be blessed. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and comment ideas on what you want me to study and speak about to help encourage your life and help you guys grow in Christ. Have a blessed day. Take care. Bye.